Good morning friends. Today is the fifth day of our tour in Croatia. The town of Omish is behind us and we are now on our way to the city of Dobrovnik. We will be using the coastal roads. It's a little bit longer but the views will be worth it. And so an hour and a half into our journey we decided to stop at this little town called uh, Zivo Kosci. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, just to freshen up and uh, maybe have a drink. After a nice cold milkshake, we are back on the road again. All along the road we have these uh, vendors selling fruit and uh, fresh juice. Another stop just to see the view, but since my friend Adam is very hungry, maybe we'll stop here and take a break at one of the lakes. This is very tempting. We enjoyed ourselves so much at the lake, we must come back here on our return journey. Before arriving at Dobrovnik, we will be stopping at Ston to see the Great Wall there. But before we get to Ston or to Dobrovnik, we need to uh, go over the uh, Peljasic Bridge. This bridge connects two points in uh, Croatia. Uh, bypassing the need to go through Bosnia and avoiding the hassle of going through border control of another country. This bridge is new and uh, only opened in the year 2022. It is about two and a half kilometers long. Dubrovnik and Stone Keep going straight. And there, straight ahead, is the Great Wall of Stone. So, parking will be just outside the entrance at a cost of uh, 1 euro per hour. The entrance fee to the uh, walls of stone is uh, 10 euro per person.
I am at the Great Wall of China. Did I say China? No. My friends Adam and Chaim are too tired to venture out in the hot sun and stayed back in the car. But the ladies are up to it. The walls of stone were built in the 14th century in the year 1358 to surround and protect the city of stone. Finally, nine hours after our departure from Omish, we have arrived at Hotel Adria in Dobrovnik. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. Thank you. <laughs> 